One of the great uses of VisMe is that it allows you to translate simple data to meaningful visuals. Uh, I'm going to show you a few examples today. In this case, on the left side, there is the percentage growth in April versus May, and it's basically just stated as text. Uh, there is the 50% of the population in terms of uh, preferences for fruits, so oranges, watermelon versus avocado, and the bottom two have to do with uh, time. Uh, so we're going to show you how to visualize each of these into kind of more colorful, meaningful visuals. Uh, on the left panel of VisMe, there is the uh, chart option, and it is located on this tab here. And uh, this is where you can access all the data visualization options. So in terms of charts, tables, and maps, and uh, each of these have their own tutorials that you can learn. Uh, but they're really meant for more, the charts and tables are more for uh, you know, heavier data. But for simple data, such as the one that we're talking about here, you can use our um, dynamic infograph widgets. And uh, so here, let's go ahead and take a look at this one, the growth rate in April versus May. Because we're talking about percentages, I'm going to go tap into one of our percent uh, widgets. I'll go ahead and just start with the first one here with the O-meter. And what you'll do is just drag and drop it to your stage. And as you notice, you can actually size them down. And let me go ahead and zoom in so you can take a look at a larger format. So, uh, And when I drag and drop this to the stage, I can size it and by default it has some values. All I need to do is go to the left side here and click on the settings. So when I click on the settings, I can either input my uh, value or use the scroller. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead to 25. And I'll go ahead and actually change the color as well. Uh, let's go to the green. So uh, if you notice, I just put a 25. And what I'm doing, though, is uh, there's no value for April. So I can go back to the settings and turn on the optional text. And in this case, I can go ahead and put uh, April. Okay, And all I need to do is to duplicate this so that I can quickly visualize the next one because I've already got my formatting and the size straight. So I click on it. I go to the top here and click the Copy option. And all I do is just drag it and move it next to the, uh, the other one. And for this one, I want to do a value of 30. So I'll go ahead and click on the settings. In this case, I'll just easily go ahead and put 30 and I need to change the value for the text to May. Okay, So there is the, the option to visualize these two very quickly into another format. Uh, by the way, I could go ahead and change the color of the text as well if I wanted to, so that would be here. Okay, um, So for the purposes of the next one, now this one we have three items. and There's a few different ways that we could visualize that. Uh, I will go ahead and use the ribbon because I want to stack them on top of each other. This should give us a very good comparison. So I click on the ribbon and what I'll do is just basically size it to a noticeable uh, size here. And I'll go ahead and go even a little bit bigger. And it's the same process. I go on the top and let's go ahead and change the color first. So oranges, I guess they're kind of yellow. Um, and uh, I will, or yellow, I guess orange. And I'll go ahead and change the setting. For the setting, I will put um, oranges. Now let's go lowercase. And um, for the text color, uh, I can stay with the color that we have where I could have changed it. So um, the value, though, needs to change, right? Because the setting, I'm talking about 50%. This is at 45. So I'll go ahead and put 50%. Now, this is a visual representation of 50. Um, it doesn't actually tell you 50, you can always put your own text over it. And all I need to do is very quick.